Mr. Beast offered people tens of thousands of dollars to make a trick shot on their first attempt. Many failed. But how difficult actually were they? Today I'll be testing just that, making three trick shots from Jimmy's video, hit the target, win $300,000, and timing how long it takes. Let's get started. I've made my way down to the basketball court where I'll be attempting a backwards shot from halfway. Now this was worth 30 grand in Jimmy's video, but today's not about money, it's about time. Let's go. It was time. Time to make the most of this clickbait title and show the people what I'm made of. I'd done it countless times before. My knowledge, strength, and integrity were second to none taking me straight to the top of this Mr. Beast mountain. But of course, I was being timed, and I had no plans of making this one of Jimmy's 24-hour challenges. More like, well, Let's I think that answers it. Less than two minutes on the clock, on to the next. Let's a bit of a step up from the first shot, and we find ourselves down at the soccer pitch. Now I've got a hoop up on the crossbar behind me here, and I'll be shooting from the edge of the D. Now this was worth 50 grand in Jimmy's video, here we go. With a stronger start than Mr. Beast's audience retention, I was pumped. Except, I was now facing my biggest fear. Soccer. During my primary school days, I was constantly referred to as the kid who had a hole in his foot. I never received a pass. It was those haunting times that could let this all unfold. But I couldn't give in. So I pushed that younger version of myself aside just like speed would, and got to work. After several attempts, I was beginning to find a rhythm. Feeling like an informed Theo Baker. Crossbar hit after crossbar hit. I was certainly leaving my mark. 33 minutes down, and it was only a matter of time. And there it is. How clean was that? Now just for the obligatory Sue celebration to sign off. Challenge three, here we come. The big finale is upon us, and it's the bow and arrow shot. Although, minus the bow and arrow. Not so easy to get your hands on, but instead, we've got a vortex, and little Jimmy down here, with a map on his head. Here we go. I know, I know, a vortex, really. And not even the whistling kind. Unfortunately, the budget was about as big as Chris MD, so that's all we had to work with. But now that most people have clicked off the video after that underwhelming unveiling of the final shot, it was time to speed run our way to the finish line. There were some close attempts, even closer attempts, and then there were some that you could fit a semi-trailer between the vortex and the target. The clock continued to count. One hour, two hours. It was this time that I couldn't help but think how much I was letting Jimmy down. Patiently standing there, not even a flinch. He truly is a good friend. Don't worry Jimmy, I've got this. Challenge complete. Stopping the clock at 2 hours and 31 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you later.